Hello, Alvaro Suñiga again here. I'm going to talk about writing, skills and writing. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, so the importance of writing, it's, 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 it's obvious. We need to write because we need to express feelings, ideas. We need to communicate. Hedge, in 1988, he says, the purpose of writing has personal, social, steady, creative, public, and institutional writing. So we can show this to our students not only writing for academic purposes, but for many other things, so they can be under, they can understand that. McDowell show in 1993, this is writing is different from the other skills, and they make sense. Research has offered that writing is provocative, according to Hedges. In McLaren, or Madrid McLaren 1985, this is, it implies competence in speaking and writing and also because at the end uh, that they both are connected and they both are together okay what it takes to writing there is a wide variety of crafting into writing so it's not just uh, assuming that i know how to write but you need to know how to do it and obviously it requires efficiency you know it's not just putting ideas all together it requires efficiency john Clegg says writing is good for the latest stages of acquiring a language that makes perfect sense also there is this very big difference between writing and spoke discourse one is that writing it takes more time and is spoke, spoken discourse it's a little faster and perhaps less formulated one of the other differences has to do with permanences explicitness density detachment organization slowness and a standard language learning skill and sheer amount of importance you're in 19, 1996 she expresses all of these little concepts that makes it that makes writing a more complicated and more competent competence or skill to acquire that is not so easy mike dow and show 1983 this is many people don't need to write and that's one of the things that are probably um interesting to discuss with students because you don't need to write if you don't want to but uh Again, it's a required skill. Plank 2002 says, write, uh, we write to discover because what we want to say, to find words, to find meaning in something. Why in Arndt in 1981 says, there's a specific humanistic role about writing. And Smith says, what can you do when you see those images that you created and now you see them in writing? So then we go to analyzing with discourse analysis. That is another way to find about the writing. And is this research method about how we write and what does it bring us into their minds? What is the language we're using? Analyzing and Stanford University says that nowadays more people write than before. Okay, so we have challenges writing. Yes, we have several challenges such as syntaxes, content, process, audience, uh, choice, organization, uh, mechanics, and punctuations. Obviously, we need to know how to summarize. And nowadays, we have these programs that are very good for, for, for ourselves. Plus, if context is because we can write for the class, we can ask students to write for the class, we can ask students to write for other students, for, for the teacher, for themselves, to pen friends, to other people, to organizations. And of course, we have these ideas, product, process, writing, and audience, that we need to be careful of them. Uh, finally, I want to say back that the process of writing is formative, is summative, is peer correcting, and self-evaluating all the time. We need to write, but the most important thing is to use the right input for the real world, meaning that we have to show our students the writing is important and that they have to acquire that skill the fastest they can. Thank you. Hello, uh, Alvaro here. I'm going to present you my writing skill practice or this class preparation for an A4 and against essay. I have, um, uh, I believe that it's very, very necessary to start warming up students. And I would use five minutes for to start with these rapid fire questions. First of all, I would go and ask the questions, what do people do on the internet? That would be my first, my first question, my first, um, uh, you know, opened uh, ideas for these future writers that we're going to have in the class. So what do young, young people do in the classroom? And in this case, we have, obviously, we have responses. If we're in the class, we could uh, probably make a list. We can make this map 
or these concept ideas uh, with them, or they can write them on their on their notebooks, right? We can. Like, what do you do on the internet? You play. You use the internet for gaming, for chatting, for communication, for information, for whatever. So we get this whole uh, concept map of ideas. Then I would ask these questions again in this five-minute march, maybe up into ten, depending. Is there an, is there internet good or bad? Now, what you do is like you have internet. Is it good or bad? And then maybe again, we can create a list of like bad things, bad or what is good. Let me write it down better. What is good? What are the good things? So we write down this whole list of good things, or maybe like explosion of ideas. And then what are the bad things from the internet? Okay, um, if there are bad things, if they see by bad things on the internet. So we got this division, we center the attention of the kids or the students into what do they do or what they do on the internet and if they're doing and whatever they're doing are good things or bad things. So we have these two separations. Now we go to ask, uh, now that we do this, now we go to uh, ask and about show uh, what is this uh, structure, what kind of an essay are we talking about? So in this part, I would spend no more than 10 minutes, maybe less, depending, moving the class, uh, showing them that this kind of a A and for and against essays are created by introduction of the topic, by showing the advantages, showing the disadvantages, and showing your final arguments. Now, these four parts are necessary. And once the student, students, once they, once they get this idea, I think it should, be, should move smoothly. So we have this part as advantages, what are the things? First of all, introduction, what is the concept that we're talking about? The advantages, what are the good things that we already marked? The disadvantages also, the bad things we already marked, and the, your final arguments. In other words, your point of view or your conclusion. Also, it is very, very nice, as it shows also on the practice uh, here, that we have some tips and some cues, which I like because these will help students also, especially showing them certain keywords, certain elements that will be interest, but will be will be fine for them. For example, one advantage is and another one is if we're talking about this part of the essay or also on the other hand on the country however if we're talking about contrasting your final arguments you can use words such as sum up in summary to conclude personally i believe my argument i agree disagree i propose i think i assume i affirm all of these words students can relate into different sections so now that we show them what do they have to do? What are they going to write about? How are they going to write about? What keywords might be helpful for them? Okay, so now it's time to do the activity. On your screen or on your papers, we have these three parts, which I uh, assume we can change the first one because it's already answered. Is it acceptable to keep animals? Should physical education be compulsory for young people? Or I wrote another one here that I like, which is the top argument for me would be, for example, are online classes beneficial for students? These online classes beneficial for students during pandemic? And then I would ask them perhaps to discuss, in this case, well, we don't have teams, but in a regular class, maybe create teams, make these lists, good and bad things, discuss it, use some speaking abilities, and then give them time to write 20 minutes writing, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, create this essay, maybe 20 minutes will be the top, and then spend the rest of the class 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending, or, or maximum 10 minutes, doing this peer work revision. So they can talk about their findings and uh, find about each other thanks to the writing. Thank you.